Uh, Neil Hennessy, Portfolio Manager and Chief Investment Officer at Hennessy Funds. Neil, good to see you. Thanks so much for, for joining me. I mean, let, let's start on that broad point. Uh, clearly, there are some signs of frothiness in markets, and there's been a great run. Are the earnings, though, coming through and justifying the rallies we've seen? Well, first of all, I don't think the market's long in, in the tooth. I mean, you're only talking about it selling at 20 times earnings this year and 18 times earnings next year on the Dow Jones. But if you look to last year when the pandemic hit, companies had no idea of what was going to happen, how severe it was going to be, what the turndown was going to be on profits, revenues, employees. And they weathered that storm as normal because businesses weather all kinds of storms. So when you start to look at maybe a little forward guidance, which I've never really liked personally, but essentially it's given the consumer or given the investor some confidence that the company is a little more confident that the pandemic's starting to get behind us and that the economy is going to start to open up, which will mean that more business is going to come to them. Right. But I guess, Neil, the obvious point to note is that uh, it's not like markets fell last year in line with earnings declining. They've already rallied almost ahead of a, an expectation of a bounce back in, in the fundamentals this year. And there are some of these signs of frothiness. Uh, do those signs worry you when you see certain stocks soaring on, on single day moves? Well, see, I don't look at uh, the market as being frothy here. There's sectors, there's individual names that are frothy. You have to look at the NASDAQ, uh, Wilford, from last year was up 45%. But if you took out those six stocks of Amazon, Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, Tesla, the market was only up 21%. But you do have these frothy stocks. You also have a lot of investors or small investors that are in chat rooms that are chatting up companies, and there's no fundamental analysis in there. But the bottom line is there's a lot of value in this market, but there is frothiness in some of those sectors and names. What about protection? How are you uh, getting that for your, your clients at the moment? Do you still own bonds? Do you own gold, Bitcoin? No, I don't own any bonds. Uh, I'm not a fan of bonds simply because I've always thought that bonds were a certificate of confiscation. There's a, it's a no-lose game in their long term. But essentially, if you look at the market and if you buy quality, that's how you protect yourself. If you look over the last 40 years, 33 of those years have been up years on an average of 18% a year. The seven years that it were down over those last 40 years, they were down on average 9% a year. And the worst of it was 2001 and 2002, three years of a bear market. Other than that, we haven't seen a bear market. We've seen volatility. We've seen corrections. But we're not headed into a bear market. But we'll continue to see some volatility in here. So uh, let's finish, Neil, with one of your stock picks. Uh, tell us about KB Homes. Well, I think KB Homes, if you look at that, it's a first-time buyer home. It's a lower-end market. Uh, you look at uh, mortgage rates, 30 years in the 3% range. Come on. We, you know, years ago when I bought my first house, I was 14 and a half, 15% on mortgage with PMI insurance. So most kids in two-income two families can afford a KB home out in the future. So, I, you know, I, I, I like it. You know, they earn around $5 a share. They're selling at less than $1 on a price to sales to earning ratio and, and you know and they pay a 60 cent dividend so there's plenty of room for upside on on not only stock but the dividend at the same time neil hennessy thanks for joining us shepherd smith here thanks for watching cnbc on youtube